Hey girl, hey, hey boo, hey. Okay, so I accidentally <laughs> took a little nap today and I didn't do like my normal skincare today, but I was really, 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 really excited to try my new cleanser. So what I wanted to do is have you guys take a look at my face right now and I'm gonna move closer because I've noticed that, you know, I can manipulate what the camera picks up the further I am. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring it in. So this is my skin. So you guys, I have oily skin. Um, I don't know if you can notice, but my skin's a little dry here. Like I said, which I'm not, surprised about because I didn't do my normal skincare um situation today actually with the exception of around my mouth area I'm actually pretty pleased with my face um I'm surprised it's not like extremely oily but so this is what we're working with right now um it looks pretty normal to me like normal skin that's not oily that's not dry but what I will say is that I am noticing that my skin isn't as I use the word bouncy like it's not as bouncy and plump as it usually is so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try my new cleanser and let's see if I notice a difference I'm so excited okay let's see Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, so before I go into the literature that's in the back of the box, let me just recap my experience. Um, you may see my hands are a little ashy. That's okay, we'll get to it, okay? We'll get to it. <laughs> okay, so first things first, what I've noticed is that the cleanser is like a milky-like color. Um, when I wet my hands and I put the cleanser in my hands and I started rubbing my hands together, I did realize that it was getting sudsy. For, so for those of you guys who are obsessed with bubbles, I think you guys would quite enjoy that. Me, um, I could care less if they're suds, so that doesn't do anything for me. I actually prefer when it doesn't have suds, but that's not a deal breaker at all. Now... It's performance so when I so I already told you guys how my skin was before I cleansed my face so when I started massaging the cleanser in my face and I put my cleanser on with my hands I do not use a washcloth um, what I noticed is that it was very smooth on my skin I liked it it was very calming I'm like okay and when I rinsed it off, what I've noticed, which is something I quite enjoy. So I rinsed it off my face, didn't feel stripping at all whatsoever. So thumbs up for that. But what I've also noticed is a lot of times when I use moisturizing cleansers, it's not stripping, but it feels as if like there's a coat of something on my face that's like forcing it to smell, feel smooth. I don't know if that makes any sense or if any of you guys have ever experienced that, but I didn't experience that with this cleanser. It just, it didn't feel like there was an extra layer of something on my face. It just felt clean and smooth. Like I keep touching my face. Stop it. <laughs> so that's that. Um, My... I just got out the shower a few moments ago. I know I need to start putting on my moisturizer and what and whatnot before my face start looks think, looking ashy. Um, but let's read the literature. So let's see how, um, what the expectations were for this. Um, so let's start with how to use. Did I use it correctly? Yes, I never read instructions, shame on me. Um, apply one to two dime size amounts onto wet palm that's what I did and lather to create suds that's what I did gently massage onto your skin for one full minute so I was not counting but anytime I cleanse my face that's what I do um I massage the cleanser in my skin for usually longer than a minute but at least one minute so good good go sherry um and rinse Dip that. Follow with the rest of your Sweet Chef skincare routine, which I will do. So what else does it say? Jumpstart your skincare routine with the oat milk latte cleanser. First of all, can we talk about this name? I love it. <laughs> can we talk about this packaging? I love it. Um, 
um, this delicious recipe, delicious. You know, I think it's because I'm just obsessed with caffeine. <laughs> And I'm like, yes, 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 bring it all to me. This delicious recipe mixes together skin's favorite hydrating. My skin does feel hydrated. Soothing. I use the word soothing, guys. I think I did. Um, ingredients such as oat milk, vitamin B12, coffee seeds, ah, and hyaluronic acid. Ooh, that, okay, so it's all coming together. I've noticed all of my moisturizing products that I love, that I'm obsessed with, has hyaluronic, um, hyaluronic acid in it. So I'm wondering why, I'm wondering if that's the reason why I feel like this hydration, but also I don't feel that other layer of, I don't know what it is, I don't know. Tell me if you know what I'm talking about. Like it feels like there's a veil of something on my face, um, which I didn't feel with this. This gentle makeup removing, oh, okay. So we definitely have to use this when I'm using makeup, okay? Because what cleansers I use to get rid of my makeup, they're, are, they're like stripping cleansers. Like I usually use my acne cleansers to like take off makeup. So, oh, I'm interested. I'm interested because I feel like my acne cleansers do a really good job with getting rid of all of the makeup. So I'm curious to see if this gentle baby here can do a little something something so gentle makeup removing formula cleanses without stripping skin i said that of moisture and perfectly prepped skin for next step okay so yeah i feel as if i experience everything that the back of the box says um yes so i love this this is definitely here to stay um i feel as if this is reminiscent of one of my cleansers that I'm not going to mention because this little clip is all about you, sweet chef. Okay, so now I'm just going to finish the rest of my skincare. moisturizer all over my face but sweet chef also came out with an eye cream so we're going to use this today I don't know if you noticed but I avoided my under eye area so let's read um let's make sure I'm following the proper steps with this one so their eye cream is the term 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 turmeric <laughs> Turmeric, <laughs> vitamin C, boost eye cream, how to use after cleansing and before serum step. Okay, so I already messed up. Um, gently pat a pea-sized amount on entire orbital eye area using ring finger until fully absorbed. Okay, so I already put on my serum. So... We're not following instructions, but let's see. Let's see how we work. So, oh, look how cute she is. <laughs> okay, so let's open her up. Oh, I didn't mention the smell about the cleanser. The, the scent is very, um, it's a light scent, a light scent, which I prefer. I don't like for things that I'm putting on my face to be highly fragrant. This has a very subtle scent. Um, let's smell the eye cream. I don't even smell anything with the eye cream, which means that makes me happy. So this is the size that I'm putting and I'm just going to put that. Now, I doubt 
I'm going to see anything immediately. Because it doesn't have a tent. A tent. A tent. I don't know why I can't speak. So I know like I have um, an eye cream that has like a yellowish tint. And that you can actually see a difference. Um, but because this doesn't, I don't think this feels nice. <laughs> Okay, so I usually don't moisturize underneath my eyes because I don't like any product being underneath my eyes. I don't like the feel of it. I don't like the weight of it. And I don't have dry eyes, dry under eyes type of situation issues. But I will say that I am enjoying how this feels. It's extremely light. It's quite comforting, actually. I don't feel and I don't feel the weight of this at all and I feel the weight of all products regardless of how light that they're supposed to be this feels really nice guys oh gosh I should have taken out my eye tool to like just rub that in oh this could be like a really nice comfort moment going on here okay and, and let's take a look so I'm going to seal my I, okay, so I see that it's definitely bringing luminosity underneath there. I feel as if, <laughs> I'm not going to use the word bright, because I don't know if that's the word that I want to use, but it's there's definitely more radiance, yes. There's definitely more radiance underneath my eyes compared to the rest of my skin. I'm sorry, this just feels really good. Um, compared to the rest of my skin. And I like it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it a lot. Ooh. I'm sorry, it just feels good. Um, yeah, I'm definitely feeling this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear this for obviously the rest of the day and then what i'm going to do is after a few hours take notice to see if that radiance underneath my eyes is still there or if it um disappears after i don't know a few minutes or a few hours or so but so far so good really loving how my skin is looking um i need to do something with these lips so let me just quickly put on like some moisture there we go now we're not scaring anyone with the lips and we had ashy hands so let's moisturize those i always moisturize my hands last that's always my last step i don't know because in my mind i'm like i don't want to mix the heavy cream and oils into my face because my face don't like heavy creams and oil guys my face looks good <laughs> like what we're working with here okay so i just wanted to do that quick little video for you guys so so excited that i was able to get my hand on both of their new launches so their cleanser and their eye cream i give both of these two thumbs up i would give them more thumbs if i had more thumbs i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope it's helpful if you're kind of on the fence as to whether or not you want to purchase these items okay bye guys